Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission. It's wonderful you're here as we meet with Jesus in his holy word and respond to him in our hearts. It's the season of Advent. And as you'll remember from last week, this is the time of year when we get ready to celebrate Jesus coming to earth at Christmas and prepare for when he comes again. Shortly, Father Henry will read for us the gospel from the second Sunday of Advent. But before he does, let us turn to our Advent wreath and light our second candle. This purple candle is the Bethlehem candle, a sign of peace. It's time to enter into God's holy word. I invite you to be still, listen carefully, and open your heart to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Iturea and Traconitus, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Ebeline, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying in the wilderness Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall become straight, and the rough places shall become level ways, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel reading, what did you hear? At the start of the Gospel, many different people were named. They all had one thing in common. They were some kind of ruler or important person. They were powerful. People listened to them. And after all these big people with big names, we hear of someone very different, a man named John. Do you remember what the gospel said about him? It said, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah in the wilderness. When all the important people with big names were doing big things, John was doing something simple and yet much more important, listening to God. I wonder how he did that. Scripture says that John was in the wilderness this is another name for the desert, a place where someone could go to be alone. Why would someone want to go to the wilderness to be alone? Wouldn't that be boring or even scary? What would you do there? This might sound a bit strange to us, but if we look a little closer, we can understand this better. The John in the gospel is often called John the Baptist. He had a special mission from God. He was what we call a prophet. A prophet is sent by God to give an important message to others. How does a prophet know what he or she is supposed to say? By listening deeply to God. So what was the special message that John had to share? We heard the answer in the gospel. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight and you shall see the salvation of God. 
John was preparing everyone for a person coming after him. Who was it? If you guess Jesus, you're right. What an amazing mission John had to prepare people's hearts to meet Jesus. John told people to turn away from sin and towards God. I wonder if, like John, you too can listen to God. How could you do that? Remember how John went into the wilderness? Now, I'm not saying we all have to pack our things and go live in the desert, but we can make a little time for silence each day. If we're always talking, it will be hard to hear what God wants to say to us. God likes to speak gently to us, almost like a whisper. And if we become still and quiet in our hearts, we'll hear him. We'll know it's him because he says beautiful things to us, like, I am with you, do not be afraid, and I love you. Sometimes we can be afraid of silence because we're not used to it. We're used to lots of activity and noise, but it's so important to also slow down, become still, and listen. John the Baptist prepared people to welcome Jesus a long time ago, but today, right now, John is also telling you and me that Jesus is coming. Jesus wants to come into your life today, right now, this very moment. I invite you to welcome him with a listening heart. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I invite you to close your eyes. Be still. Jesus is here. In the gospel, John said, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. You can make a straight path for Jesus now by being quiet, still, and inviting him into your heart. John listened to the voice of God speaking in his heart. You can do this now. God's voice speaks gently in our hearts, whispering words of love and encouragement. Listen to his voice. We don't always hear God's voice straight away, but he can always fill us with his love. Loving God, help us be your messengers this week, sharing the love of your son Jesus with others. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
spirits bind thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come. Your Mark 10 mission is to follow the example of St. John the Baptist and find a quiet place to listen to the voice of God. When you are there, spend some of your time asking God if He has a message about His love for another person. He could give you a person's name He wants you to especially share His love with. You could even tell them how much God loves them. Thanks for being with us today. What a powerful message we received from St. John the Baptist. Do you remember his cry? Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. So let's do that this week. Let's step up our Advent preparations, turn to Jesus in prayer each day and make a straight path from his heart to ours. Next time we gather, we'll be marking the midpoint of Advent, Gaudate Sunday and lighting another candle on our Advent wreath. I wonder if you know which colour it will be. You'll have to be here to find out. I hope you continue to have a blessed Advent. And we'll see you next time on the Mark 10 Mission. Bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs>